and the variable and another part is method of moments method of moments is contain two part uh, wait method of moments this contain two type uh, one is a discrete type and another type is continuous type so discrete type means what is a formula also continuous type means what is a formula first of all what is a notation of moments the moments notation is uh, mu r dash the moments notation is mu r dash then what is a discrete type first of all discrete type another one is continuous type uh, discrete type means what is a formula mu r dash equal to uh, summation x summation x power r into some probability of sorry, probability function continuous type means what is a formula of mu r dash that is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity here i i varies from r r varies from 1 to n ok here full values minus infinity to infinity x power r into the probability density function what is a function is given that values that values ok this is a formula two type of formula uh, what is a formula this is a discrete type and this one is called a continuous type already i am told what is a discrete type meaning 0 1 2 the values are given continuous type meaning that interval is given 0 to 10 or pi to 8 that interval is given may be closed interval or open interval or up, open or closed interval that interval values are given this is a very important part ok this is a very 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 important part uh, this is a basic idea I moved the very important repeated theorem so repeated theorem I moved the repeated theorem so wait I uh, given that that concept also so it is a repeated theorem here uh, wait. yeah this is a repeated theorem uh, estimate alpha beta estimate alpha beta in the two case of Pearson type type 3 formula distribution method is f of x comma alpha comma beta that formula is uh, beta power alpha divided by comma alpha divided by comma alpha into x power alpha minus 1 into e power minus beta x this is an interval type this interval type means continuous interval ok this interval type therefore is using the continuous interval 0 to infinity the interval type meaning using this formula <coughs> the interval type means using this formula uh, therefore minus infinity to infinity meaning you want taking that 0 to infinity minus infinity to infinity meaning you want taking 0 to infinity and f of this value into dx ok f of this value is also given also given that f of this value ok so how to find also estimate alpha beta estimate alpha beta that meaning you want to find the that alpha beta value <coughs> i moved the problem and i want to also i moved the proof also so how to prove here continuous interval therefore i moved the moments formula mu r dash equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x power r into f of x comma here alpha beta is given therefore alpha beta into dx now I apply the all values f of x comma alpha comma beta values replace this value replace this value and our interval is 0 to infinity therefore I am also interval is also I am replaced 0 to infinity that is equal to integral 0 to infinity because given that 0 to infinity is given that I am also replaced that 0 to infinity x power r into this value is given that as both values I apply here this overall value is apply here <coughs> that meaning beta power alpha divided by comma alpha x power alpha minus 1 into e power minus beta x into dx into dx now i move to the integration part previous one is differentiation uh, this one is integration part one minute
So, okay, how to find the integration? So, you know the basic one, uh, this is a constant term, this is a constant term you are taking outside that is equal to beta power alpha divided by comma alpha integral 0 to infinity x power r into x power alpha minus 1 into e power minus beta x into dx. Okay. Now, we want to simplify this one that is equal to beta alpha beta power alpha divided by comma alpha integral 0 to infinity this both are x term therefore I am add that meaning a power m into a power n equal to a power m plus n a power m plus n therefore both are x term therefore I am going to add r plus alpha minus 1 into e power minus beta x into dx ok. Uh, this is one comma function formula uh, what is the formula uh, this formula is called comma function ok uh, comma function uh, what is the formula here uh, let us uh, please memory this one this is called a comma function uh, let m equal to uh, r plus alpha ok then what is the formula here uh, comma of m divided by alpha m equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus alpha x into <coughs> x power minus 1 ok r plus alpha r plus alpha equal to m ok alpha value is in this one. Now apply this formula this is a comma function formula this formula is called a comma function formula therefore apply this one and then is getting the result mu r dash equal to beta power alpha divided by comma alpha. So, what is the result here m equal to r plus alpha m equal to r plus alpha therefore I am putting here r plus alpha r comma of r plus alpha and divided by alpha power m what is alpha here e power alpha ok alpha power m means here alpha what is e power here beta e power here beta therefore I am writing here beta. So, beta power m ok beta power m means r plus alpha r plus alpha this is a comma function formula both values are I apply now you want to simplify now you want to simplify therefore mu r dash equal to beta power alpha divided by comma alpha divided by comma alpha into comma of r plus alpha divided by this power meaning beta power r into beta power alpha beta power alpha into beta power r this one this one is cancelled therefore mu r dash equal to mu r dash equal to comma of r plus alpha divided by comma alpha comma alpha into beta power r beta power r this is a mu r value this is called a mu r dash value. What is your aim? Your aim is you want to find that alpha value and beta value. What is your aim? Uh, in the given question you want to find the estimate of alpha and beta value. Estimate of alpha and beta value. Therefore, I am using one condition. So, you want to apply the r value 1 and 2. Want to apply the alpha value 1 and 2. And also another one condition comma. Comma of n equal to n into comma of n minus 1. Otherwise, is written as n minus 1 factorial. This is a basic formula comma function n into n minus 1 comma or n minus 1 factorial. This is a basic formula. Okay. So, all result I apply and simplify. Uh, first, this is a main equation 1. Therefore, r equal to 1 in equation number 1. r equal to 1 in equation number 1. Then, what is the result? mu r dash mu 1 dash ok mu r dash can be written as r equal to 1 therefore mu 1 dash equal to comma of 1 plus alpha divided by comma of alpha beta power 1 beta <coughs> beta power 1 is beta here comma of n equal to n minus 1 factorial 
okay otherwise n into n minus 1 so same idea using uh, comma of n plus 1 comma of n plus 1 can be written as n into n plus 1 into comma of n n plus 1 into comma of n okay n plus 1 into comma of n on this formula apply this place on this formula apply in this place therefore alpha plus 1 can be written as either n factorial or n plus 1 divided by comma of n therefore I written as I writing here uh, alpha plus 1 alpha plus 1 can be written as alpha plus 1 factorial alpha plus 1 factorial divided by this alpha can be written as n meaning n minus 1 factorial n meaning n minus 1 factorial therefore alpha comma of alpha it can be written as uh, alpha minus 1 factorial okay into divided by beta is there therefore beta so now mu 1 dash equal to alpha plus 1 can be written as alpha into okay comma sorry alpha this is alpha factorial not for comma of alpha plus 1 can be written as alpha factorial therefore alpha into alpha minus 1 factorial divided by alpha minus 1 factorial into beta this alpha minus 1 factorial alpha minus 1 factorial is cancelled therefore mu or mu 1 test therefore mu 1 test equal to alpha divided by beta mu 1 dash equal to alpha divided by beta ok alpha plus 1 can be written as alpha factorial not for alpha plus 1 factorial alpha factorial alpha can be written as comma of alpha can be written as alpha minus 1 factorial this alpha factorial can be written as alpha into alpha minus 1 factorial that meaning n factorial equal to n into n minus 1 factorial this is a formula on that formula I, I am apply here on that formula I am apply here and this simplify therefore mu 1 dash equal to alpha divided by beta <laughs> similarly we can find that r equal to 2 r equal to 2 in equation number 1 therefore mu 2 dash mu 2 dash meaning what is equation number 1 this equation number 1 r replaced by 2 this 2 this also 2 remaining are same only therefore mu 2 dash equal to comma of alpha plus 2 divided by comma alpha into beta squared comma alpha divided by beta squared same idea using here alpha plus 2 meaning alpha plus 1 alpha plus 1 factorial divided by alpha minus 1 factorial into beta squared you want to simplify this one again mu 2 dash equal to alpha plus 1 can be written as alpha plus 1 into ok alpha into uh, alpha minus 1 factorial divided by alpha minus 1 factorial into beta squared alpha plus 1 alpha minus 1 factorial alpha minus 1 factorial cancel then he is getting the mu 2 dash mu 2 dash equal to alpha plus 1 into alpha divided by beta squared ok divided by beta squared this is a mu 2 dash this is called a mu 2 dash both using mu 1 dash and mu 2 dash this is a equation 2 and uh, this is called a equation 3 <coughs> this is called a equation number 3 from using 2 and 3 you see getting the result uh, that meaning 3 divided by 2 3 divided by 2 the whole square equation 3 divided by 2 the whole square so it is a getting result mu 2 dash ok 3 means mu 2 dash divided by 2 2 is called a mu 1 dash whole square mu 1 dash whole square equal to equal to mu 2 dash is alpha plus 1 into alpha divided by beta square mu 1 dash is whole square what is a mu 1 dash value mu 1 dash value is alpha divided by beta therefore whole square meaning alpha square divided by beta square alpha square divided by beta square again divided by alpha square divided by beta square so you know the formula uh, a divided by b divided by c divided by d that meaning d mu to a and b mu to c 
that is equal to AD divided by BC. So, apply on this result easily getting the idea this beta squared is beta squared is cancelled and uh, this alpha squared one alpha is cancelled. Then what is the end of result? Uh, mu 2 dash divided by mu 1 dash whole squared equal to alpha plus 1 divided by alpha alpha plus 1 divided by alpha that is equal to separately divided by alpha separately divided by alpha is getting the result mu 2 dash divided by mu 1 dash whole squared equal to 1 plus 1 by alpha 1 plus 1 by alpha this one move to the left side therefore mu 2 dash divided by mu 1 dash whole squared e is minus 1 equal to 1 by alpha. So, taking LCM and simplify mu 2 dash minus mu 1 dash the whole square divided by mu 1 dash the whole square equal to 1 by alpha. This is a 1 by alpha value which implies that alpha value is a reciprocal. You are taking reciprocal is alpha value. Therefore, alpha equal to convert to reciprocal that is equal to <coughs> mu 1 dash squared divided by mu 2 dash minus mu 1 dash the whole squared. This is a alpha value. Okay. This is a equation number 4. This is a equation number 4. Uh, now, we want to find the beta value. This is a b, b alpha value. Now, we want to beta value. What is a equation number 2? Equation 2 you now mu 1 dash equal to alpha by beta. Mu 1 dash equal to alpha by beta. That apply the alpha value. Just apply the alpha value is here. Therefore, mu 1 dash equal to what is alpha value? This alpha value uh, mu 1 dash whole squared uh, divided by mu 2 dash minus mu 1 dash whole square <coughs> divided by beta. Divided by beta. Uh, you know uh, both uh, this one, this one is same, is cancelled, is getting the result 1. This beta moving this side. Then what is the beta value? Uh, beta equal to mu 1 dash divided by mu 2 dash minus mu 1 dash the whole squared. This is a formula for the beta value. This is a formula for the beta value. Therefore, alpha equal to mu 1 dash whole squared divided by mu 2 dash minus mu 1 dash whole squared and beta equal to mu 1 dash divided by uh, mu 2 dash minus mu 1 dash the whole squared. This is the formula of the given problem. So, what is the question? Find alpha and beta value using the moments. Therefore, using the moments is getting the result alpha and beta. This is the end of result for the this theorem. This is the end of result for the this theorem. Any doubt regarding this theorem?